Hello everyone, welcome to another day in the car. I'm Jules, and today we're talking about Orin and Orson West, also known as Classic and Sincere Pettis. And the first thing I'm going to do is discuss this uh, breaking news that appeared and update you on that update. And then I'll tell you what I've been doing in this case and what I've been digging into. <clears throat> First off, Bayan Wang of Channel 23 broke this story saying that there was something new going on in the case. Uh, saying that it was just confirmed that there had been people detained and uh, that it was people that hadn't been cooperating. But the thing is, the way he worded it, it made me wonder whether he was talking about something that had been occurring and had just been confirmed on Wednesday or whether it was something that had happened on Wednesday. I wasn't sure. So just to make sure, first thing I did was I went to the database for the Kern County Jail and I ran the names of everyone pertinent, <clears throat> of anyone pertinent to the case, people that I know are somehow related to the boys or tied to the boys and none of them were currently incarcerated. Then I got smart and I went and looked for other YouTubers channels to see what they were saying about the case. And of course, Crenshaw came through. Crenshaw Incorporated actually contacted by Ann Wang and he told her that this was not something that had just happened, that this is something that had happened throughout the case that multiple people have been detained throughout the case. Not anything new. So that's that update. Nothing new has actually happened in the case. But I'm telling you that I am pretty sure the police know exactly what is going on and who to be looked at, looking at because of everything that I have uncovered just in my couple days of doing some dedicated research and if I could find it, I'm sure law enforcement has much better databases and much better tools than I do. And, you know, I've got everything. I've done the backgrounds on the adoptive family and, you know, their extended family and the bio family. And I've gone back, you know, a few generations with all of the families as well and did backgrounds on everyone. So I know what's up. I'm not going to talk about what's up at all. But I will say that there are people who are not related at all to the boys, not through adoption, not through bio, that might have ulterior motives, you know, like either to uh, punish someone or to manipulate someone or even for money or, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of different motives that could be at play here but I will say that from what I've learned I am pretty certain that the boys are alive and are in someone else's care at this time and it's entirely possible that none of the family members know who's got the kids or why it's also possible that they do have ideas and are being quiet because of that. There's just a whole lot going on. There's way more to this case than uh, I originally thought. And so I'm going to stop poking around and I'm just going to wait for, to quote Trezell, it all to play out. I have full confidence that law enforcement does know what's going on and that something will be occurring before too long, but I'm sure they've got to do a lot of things to have everything set up for, for everything to work out the right way. And I do hope I am correct on this. Um, 
because if I do, it, it'll be good. If I am correct, it'll be good for our boys. Thank you for watching another day in the car. I will see you in the next video. Please comment below, like and share if you wish, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.